Wow, wow. Agriculture is the backbone of our Republic Kenya. If we can't go to farm for sure, definitely the declination of the economy. So we fully depend on agriculture as the Republic of Kenya. Anyway, guys, welcome on today's vlog. My name is Debbie Junior, a typical village boy born and raised in Kenya. And if it is your very, very first time on this YouTube channel, welcome. Consider subscribing because that's the best way to support Devi. Coming live and clear from my home, this is how it is. I'm just an ordinary kid trying to chase his dreams fearlessly and uh, just to go for my dreams because I do believe nothing is impossible in this life. So I have my mama right there in which she has been very supportive on my journey, I mean content creation. So she came to pay me a visit here. At the same time, guys, I have good news for you. That's where the title of this video is derived from. Enjoy the video till the end. Make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel. And I say thank you so much for the 67,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel and over 12 million views i don't take it for granted i'm forever grateful so this is the real life here in the village nyabuhansi village to the world we're so blessed we have good fertile soils you can tell guys and it's raining right now it's raining right now so this is my small kitchen garden here guys and uh we thank god we thank god we thank god so i've been introducing you to my mama right there she just came to pay me a visit it's been long since she was at this place so let her say hello hey mom how are you doing hello guys how is everything i'm doing well mm -hmm. i've decided to walk slowly and reach this place wow uh, it has been long mm -hmm. i decided to make a, a move mm -hmm. uh, i wanted just to exercise my body mm -hmm by walking to this place because i wanted to witness what is david doing oh mom yeah, welcome so, to my home so yeah this is david's home right here he, this is where he will start life from and then i'll just then move to a better place exactly this is where he will start um how do you feel to be at my home uh, i feel happy mm -hmm. and i want to thank god mm -hmm. for enabling you to have this place mm -hmm. uh, this is a step forward did you ever imagine it should come so earlier something like this owning something like this i do understand most of the people work so hard for these things but uh, these are situation whereby god decided to bless me a lot what's the feeling when you see your kids succeeding every single day mine is to thank god mm -hmm. and also to encourage my children to work hard mm -hmm. because there is nothing come in a silver platter sure you have to work for it mm -hmm. so when you work hard mm -hmm. and then uh, you mm -hmm. put things on practice mm -hmm. it becomes a blessing wow yes like now here mm -hmm. it's a step that you have made mm -hmm. because at least you'll have a place to keep your material exactly i would wish to you deny yourself you roof this one mm -hmm. so that at least you can and put your materials there when you are oh, constructing wow. So my mom, she's saying I should roof this yes. Uh, yes. house right here. It's not into completion, but at the same time, mama, we have the completed store. It's right there, right there. Yes. I feel like this wasn't built in good standards. You can tell, guys. So maybe I want to be demolishing this. Uh, that's according to me. But if you know something that I want to improve on this, let me get in the comment section below, guys. But for me personally, I feel like I should put it down and start building afresh, you know, without guessing, guessing things. Mama, I have I have other question for you here. Yes. So that what is that one thing that you have always asked God to bless your children in which we haven't achieved yet, you know? Mine, something that I've taken much time to tell God mm -hmm. is my children to have families, mm -hmm. get married, and also marry, and have grandchildren. Those are what I've told them. Mama, personally, it's all about time, <laughs> and uh, God's timing, it's always the best. Mm. When the right time comes, definitely, he will always make things beautiful. So, no pressure, mom. Yes. Grandkids will come, honestly. Yeah, that's what I feel, because now mm -hmm. I'm growing old, 
Yeah. So I need my grandchildren to be around me, mm -hmm. walking home to home, greeting them. Exactly. Uh, But at the same time, it's a blessing <laughs> having a mother, you know. Imagine, mom, we work so hard for these things. And uh, yeah, and you are witnessing these. And these are memories for sure. They'll go down in history many, many years to come. Our grandkids, I mean, your grandkids now, they'll be like, wow, you used to have a mother like this. Yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. that's what I feel. Mm -hmm. Immediately you acquire such uh, blessings. Mm -hmm. You go build your home nicely mm -hmm. then bring somebody. Thank you for your prayers. They keep yes. us going every single day. Yes. And uh, we don't take it for granted. And uh, I thank God you are here today. Anyway, mom, I want to be showing you like how everything is i have good news in which i decided just to come and share with my mom guys you already know a few days from now it's gonna be my birthday and at the same time my time in the village is so 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 limited but uh, guys i have to fix my house in good before i leave the village so i have good news guys i wanna be we on the process I want to be buying a house here in the village. <laughs> True story, guys. I always involve my parents and my mom. She's right here. She's a witness. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait to share with you. So, we are about to seal the deal. After that, I'm done with everything. Then I want to be saying goodbye to my village. It's a way of appreciating myself. And uh, it's kind of an early birthday gift buying a house for myself so we're not yet contented with whatever we had we keep pushing regardless and it's a big motivation to everybody as long as you go hard on your dreams everything is possible so personally i don't believe in inheritance i always tell you mom no you know the people must work hard exactly so that uh, mm -hmm. you learn to purchase mm -hmm. and care mm -hmm. for property exactly guys yes. when you work hard for the things man even you get the urge to guide them accordingly rather than yeah. just finding things here and there you know like for me i say thank you so much for supporting me through watching my videos you always make these things a reality this is abrupt news guys it just came like uh unexpectedly Like, I was about to leave home, but simply because that news just came in, I have to extend my days a little bit here in the village to ensure everything is fixed so that I can live comfortably knowing everything is set back here at home. So the next big thing, maybe on my tomorrow's video, mm -hmm. I want to be showing you the yes. house that we just purchased. Yes, guys. So, Thank you, mom, for your prayers. They keep us going for sure. Guys, it's not long time ago where we used to be rained on. True story. And I used to tell my mama, surely one day, one time, God will yes. never leave us. Yeah, David used, David used to comfort me and tell me, mom, mm -hmm. one day uh, God cannot leave us. So mm -hmm. be comfortable with what we are doing. But we want to appreciate I am Mara. This is the person who opened doors for us and taught us this kind of work. Mm -hmm. He taught Devi how to get how to get hold of the camera. Mm -hmm. He taught Dean Wango how to get a hold of the camera mm -hmm. and many other people in the village. Yeah, and for me, I'm always grateful to the person who shown me the way and yes. I decided to pick it like yes. a soldier. Yes. Less than even 5,000 subscribers, you know. Yes. And I picked it and I decided to work hard and I can comfortably say like uh, it's through my hard work. It's not by luck. To where i am right now because i've put in some work you know hard work and god also guides you gives you good help absolutely and your yes. prayers always keeps me going other people they always wonder like davy how do you do it how do you do it it's by god's grace honestly guys coming up with new yes. ideas every single day yes. at times it can be crazy but we have to think out of the box just to create content and just to sell it out there and for me i'm grateful everybody who has been very support you so my mom she's right here guys this is good news absolutely good news good and, news uh, i can't wait to take you there yes mm -hmm. so okay. mom this is my compound here yeah. uh things are really flourishing you can see guys even the purples right here they are coming up 
So when you visit me in the village, you wanna feel inspired because all right. But it is closer to this one. So this is an avocado tree. It's a quite very small it, it but i feel like it should be transplanted somewhere from the this area yeah. maybe to the other side at the corner but this compound i want to design it in a way that yes everything will be very perfect because this is why i want to be building my dream house so i don't want to like trees to be planted anyhow they have to be planted in rows and uh, in an executive you manner this one, you have to remove it from here uh -huh. Transplant it where it can grow wide at the corner, maybe. Yeah, guys. Yeah. So, this is maize or corn. Even I don't know the person who planted this. You know, life can be very tricky here in the village, you know, yes. especially when you are not here. But I do understand maybe it's a family member, you know. Yes. And uh, my things. We get some harvest, good harvest. Exactly, guys. So, you see, it should weed it twice mm -hmm. so that you get. Yeah, you will get. Two sure guys, Keep sure this. guys, sure guys. Yeah. Okay, mom, come along. Or uh, you should no no because my mom guys she's uh sick, so she'll be standing within there. As I take you along, things have really transformed, have really changed here. We have the gu not guavas but uh, the mangoes in Swahili we call them maembe and yeah, this is how everything is. Maybe we can go to the far end right there. Guys, we're making our parents proud every single day, which is a blessing by itself. And um, thank you so much. As congrats, mom, right? Enjoy. Eh? <laughs> yeah, guys, it is hot. Uh -huh. So I cannot be on the sun. Exactly. The sun is so hot and mm -hmm. tough. Yeah, so this is the house. This is the store here. It's locked. Ah, uh, a few days I was in the capital Nairobi, Kenya, and I was so shocked. Like I left the house without the padlock, but right now you can tell we have a padlock right there. And who made it possible? <laughs> you. Yes, those are just small things. They will only mm -hmm. save them. But ah, uh, this is what it is. Yeah, we appreciate. Always the house should be locked. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, the house should be locked, should yes. be locked. Yes. Wow. So, so right now no so, one stays here. So let me inspect here. What is happening? Mama, this is my outside kitchen. <laughs> Guys, I just bought this place very recently. So don't mind. I bought it the way it is. And for me, I show you the real stories from here in the village. So come along with us. So these are traditional african kitchen i have to put these very clearly guys not all homes have these but for davis home we have this one but um, the majority of the homes around here guys africa is so big i have to insist on that but the majority within my village this is the vibe you know yes. yeah we took another stone <laughs> 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 there were stones, but now Guys, welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> Look at my mom right there. Hey, hey. that smile. No, uh, I'm wondering. Mama, guys. smile for the camera. Smile. Okay. I'm okay, guys. Ah. So there were three stones, but now mm -hmm. there are two. Yeah, but uh, guys, for for someone to cook here, we, they have to be three stones for them to balance the cooking pot or the sulfuria. Yes. So here, this is where we light fire at this point right here, guys, you know. Life in the village, it is as simple as it is. This reminds me of my childhood memories where we used to cook with my mom. Um, a kitchen like this, though for us it was <laughs> leaking, Even extreme. Leak. Even this one is leaking. It gives me those vibes back then, mama. The, you can see here. Mm -hmm. It is seriously leaking. It's seriously leaking. You see, leaking. you see like here it has damaged this, the, uh, the, the bricks. Yeah. So these bricks need to be saved from here. Exactly. So that they can be used elsewhere. Yeah, maybe uh, we should... Uh, they immediately they should move from here because now they are a waste. Mm -hmm. All of them, you see. Yeah, 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 yeah. They have been drained on. We should give instruction to someone to pick them from here. Yes. Take to our home right there. So, mom, you remember we used to cook in such a 
uh, a house back yeah, at Nyabuhansi it's market. It's just normal uh, when we were there. Mm-hmm. Uh, just cooking. Uh, but <laughs> just good. cooking. Yeah, what yeah, is good. Situation. Sure. Uh, even uh, the rooms that we were using mm-hmm. were just like this. Joined mm-hmm. by, we were joining when we were building our houses. Yeah, we this, couldn't afford cement. So this is, come I show you how we were All right, building. guys. Real stories from here in the village. At times it's very emotional, but uh, it is what it is. Uh-huh. I didn't expect to reach here, but by the grace. By the grace. You see here? Uh-huh. This is what I came, I remembered. My All house. right, guys, let you me see? show you. So, How you are building? so back then we could it afford the cement, Look at you this. know? You was using so we used to build using the mud. Check As this house is here. built, even, even the foundation, guys, it's not that strong. That's it's why right. I always insist this is just my store for sure. Yeah. But in the future, I'll demolish this because it's not well built up to the standards, the modern standards. Yeah. So this is how we used to build our previous home. Yeah. This Imagine. is sand. This is... <laughs> this is Maram. Maram. Yeah. yeah you see, guys, even it's not that strong. And this tells you dreams are valid. When you work hard, you put God first for sure. Yeah. He can do wonders. It's really hot. It is it's really, really hot, hot right yeah. now. It's really hot right now. It's, it's really, really hot. hot right now. Wow. So, it's a nice village. Huh? <laughs> and uh, it's really progressing. Really progressing. And you see the, the goodness. Mm hmm. This place is so quiet and uh, yeah, it's very quiet, and, uh, very, very serene. So, Mama, being a village mother, what yeah. can you say about the village, especially to many people out there, maybe who have been staying in wow. the city, especially our um, our audience, most of them they stay in the US. Yes. Even they in Germany, yeah, uh, well built houses, so they in wonder. UK and mm-hmm. they be like, This is the real life here in the village. What can you tell them about the village life the since village you have life, the experience, guys? I have an experience, I've stayed in the village for over many years. Mm-hmm. In fact, I've been in the village, I've never been in the city. Mm-hmm. I enjoy the life in the village. Mm-hmm. It is very tough, even getting finances, mm-hmm. very tough. Sure. You see, people in towns, mm-hmm. they are able to understand. Mm-hmm. But in rural areas, yeah. people tend not to understand because of the way of life. The way of life. The way people conduct themselves. Mm-hmm. The same thing of maize mm-hmm. sold in the market mm-hmm. price in the city. Mm-hmm. Can never be sold the same in the in the rural areas. Wow! You find rural areas things are very cheap, mm-hmm. but life also very very low. Very low. Yeah, you don't. There's no competition. Mm-hmm. Why you want to say that I want to build a good house because you find things. Mm-hmm. It's now that this village is changing. Courtesy uh, of YouTube. Uh, I was sharing of, with I was sharing with my mom actually uh, before I started shooting this video. I was telling my mom like YouTube has really transformed a lot of lives here. So big shout out to the YouTube platform. We're grateful. Is, uh, and we're keeping working so hard every single day to ensure everything come to fruition, you know. Yeah, so so the YouTube, YouTube has, Grateful. That is me, Maro. I am Maro who brought that uh, YouTube here. Mm-hmm. He has really transformed the village. We shout out to you, Maro. God bless you. Yeah. For doing that good job. And here we are on your steps, working hard. Working so hard. Following the steps. Mm-hmm. So here we are. Yeah, the village has really transformed, guys. Yes, These are small. There, you can see people are building. You see, guys. Mansions. Down there. The yeah, working, working, working. So working. I hope you are going to change this place. Mm-hmm. Build good houses mm-hmm. and your friends. Yeah, and guys, when you come village, and visit us in the village here, this you have place is changed. You have somewhere yeah. to put your head. The, our friends will not be comfortable to stay in such houses. <laughs> Imagine, guys, this one, huh? like this one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Will you be comfortable staying in such a thing, guys? That's why we have to work hard to change everything in place. But the environment looks so good. The views are very breathtaking. 
Of course, of course, of course. This is just a store, mom. This is just a store. Yeah. yeah, we have big dreams to go harder every mm. single day and to achieve many things. Maybe other people, they may seem unachievable to them. Wow. You know? This place looks mm -hmm. nice and beautiful. Mm -hmm. So fat and so nice. And I do believe, guys, these many, many blessings, they came from my late grandpa. I did a, commenda job, a commendable job to him, mm -hmm. especially when he was alive. So, yeah, I say thank you. And you people who supported me, we built my uncle's a good house right now. He's happy. He's living. He has a family. He yes. has, like, guys, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for holding my hand. What's the feeling, mom? I'm so when grateful. you see your brother living good life right yes, now, very yeah. happy, uh, has a motorbike. My uncle is improving. I pray for him, my brother, I pray for him that one day from a motorbike to a vehicle. Of course, yes, everything Elena, is possible. His children will be in school, his mm -hmm. wife is happy. Mm -hmm. So that's how we can transform the village. Yeah, guys. Yeah, the village should be, at least they should be happy. And indeed, when you empower many people around the world, you yes. have no burden. Even the security incidences, insecurity incidences, they, they tend to be low because yeah. people have their own <laughs> bread. Yeah, that's true, ma'am. <laughs> You know, yes. When you empower others, yes, you feel secure. Yes. You don't feel like you're a threat to other people. Uh, you cannot be a threat because mm -hmm. you have empowered people. Yeah, and people are happy. And people are happy. Yes. They have food on the table. You mm -hmm. know, uh evil is brought by lack of food, poverty, which mm -hmm. is a big animal, guys. Yes. You know. Poverty. But when we fight poverty, we are good to go. Mm -hmm. Yes. And everyone will be so happy. And you know, God created us mm -hmm. in his own image. He doesn't want us to spoil his body. Our bodies are guys, really temples Guys, of let God. me tell you, Mama so, Daz has been the anthem since day one, since childhood. <laughs> Our bodies are the uh, temple of God. So you cannot spoil it. And my mama used to <laughs> sing for us a song. Mama sing for us. Which song? I've forgotten. Unless you... Which song? <laughs> I have many songs. Abs. Oh. <laughs> Guys, my mama, she's a teacher by ah, profession, so... I used to sing for them a song. Mm -hmm. Okay, Would can you, you sing? sing for us, congrats? Let me see what I can remember. Mm -hmm. Abstain, abstain, abstain from sex. Until you get married. Secure, Secure your, your body until you marry. Your body, body is the temple, temple of God. Wow. Hey. It was once again, ma'am. Once again. Once again. Oh. Once more. Kindly, kindly. Boys and girls beyond the look. AIDS has no cure. Secure your body until you man. Your body is the temple of God. Guys, it's when I'm hard, out. It's hard, it's hard to know the person with the virus. The thin ones, the young and the old. Mm -hmm. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard to know the person with the virus. Secure your body until you mark. Your body is the temple of God. Wow, guys, that's so emotional. It's so touchy. Yeah, it's so emotional. Very. Yeah, Mama you... used to sing for us. Imagine, up to date, yes, I've never because, forgotten that song. Because now, yeah, that song, mm -hmm. it has been long, guys. Yeah. Dave, so you have such a good memory. Yeah. For remembering mm -hmm. such songs, I used to sing for them. That... Secure your body until married because... Your body is the temple of God. So those kind of words, they keep me motivated just to guide my energy and just to remember our bodies are always sacred and we are created 
through the image of God, mm -hmm. through his own likeness. Yes, man mm -hmm. was created in God's image and therefore mm -hmm. that's why we need to support others, mm -hmm. we need to pray for them, mm -hmm. we need to be friends, Guys. we need to comfort one another, mm -hmm. we need mm -hmm. to guide and counsel, mm -hmm. yes, where we are wrong, mm -hmm. also the word of God mm -hmm. is a weapon that guides mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. it also rebukes mistakes. Mm -hmm. and corrects us mm -hmm. so that we keep on living with our neighbors mm -hmm. yes and we love our neighbors wow. as we also love ourselves so the bible has a lot yeah guys yes i hope you felt motivated yes guys in fact oh i feel like uh, this is one of my best videos i ever presented <laughs> out there yes guys and mama enjoy. made it a reality <laughs> so thank you so much for yeah guys i decided to come here mm -hmm. uh, in fact since i became sick i've been indo i've never got out mm -hmm. but at least i'm so happy right now like you can stretch your hand like yes, this guys. you can touch you yes, know at least it's improving. yeah mama she is really improving it's improving guys so mm -hmm. i decided to come here exactly and uh, also witness whether the door was locked because i sent somebody <laughs> when baby was in the room yeah guys most somebody, of the time mama always watches somebody. out my properties here in the village mm -hmm. yeah i sent you know? somebody mm -hmm. Uh, and told him go and lock that place even right now mama okay. was advising me i should plant a lot of trees on my farms here because it's raining right now yeah which uh, is a good thing guys you yes, know especially the ones up there mm -hmm. make sure you this is the time to plant yeah this is the time Please. that's why i've told Please, you guys uh, they change the environment. i have to fix my house first before i leave the village and tomorrow maybe i want to be sharing with you good news because it is what it is guys god always works in a miraculous way and uh we say thank you so much for the support the best is yet to come we keep striving hard just to change our narration you know every single day it's a day to improve our, our lives and to make lives better and better yes guys all so... right mom thank you so much for your <laughs> support mom she always supports me in whatever i do and for me i'm grateful thank you so much yes guys you know he told me mom it has been long mm -hmm. let's go and see yeah how that place of mine is so since i've come i've exactly. witnessed mm -hmm. uh, so with the time mm -hmm. he will be able to improve this place mm -hmm. and everybody will be happy so um, i'll take much of my time mm -hmm. to put you in prayers to pray thank for you, you. Thank you for the prayers. Yeah, so that, uh, they keep us going every day, single day. They protect day. us against um, crazy weapons, you know. Yes. I don't understand what all people are happy about the success we are putting. But um, God is always there. God is always there. God is always there. We yes, are in the guys. process right now to seal the deal here. <laughs> I'm so happy. My mom, she is one of the witness. And maybe on my next video, I want to be giving you a quick, quick tour yes. of the newly bought house here in the village. We're going harder like never before. Going oh. harder. 2024, guys, it started like a crazy year. My mom broke her arm, but uh, we keep pushing, we keep pushing. And anytime from now, I want to be saying goodbye to the village. Do I miss my mom? Yes, guys. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you'll not miss mom. You'll be communicating with mom. No, physically. I'll <laughs> miss you physically. But I will keep communicating. Uh, uh, and uh, hopefully all shall be well. Yes, guys. Let's hope for the best. Yeah, guys. Yes. From this amazing, beautiful view of Nyabohanse village, I say thank you. That's the border town. The border town is right there. And it's really growing, guys. It's coming. The border town is really growing. It's really growing. The village is developing day by day. It attracts many investors just to come here and build their homes. That's why, like right now, things are really going hard. High, high, and high. Even the prices of the farms, for sure. 
they tend to be hyped you know is that the word to use anyway guys check my mom out on youtube i really really appreciate at congrats mom right there that's her youtube channel and i'll see you in my next video greetings from here in the village bye guys take care wow.